G'day guys. Welcome back to another Oz Trek adventure. It's sort of an adventure today. This is more of a continuation of the vlog series. So I'm going to be posting these things once a week. Stay tuned for all the little updates between Chalky and the Bush Beast. And let's get to it. So right here we've got a little bit of a rig as to where it's going to be sort of sitting. Um, she's sort of three quarters put in place. I'll take you up there and have a look in a second. But I've got 95 mil in here, which we have to take off. And um, just to shorten it on one side, it's just a little bit too far across the other side because I have gapped the length up there and uh, I'll show you what I mean. But it's going to be a really cool little setup. It's going to have a little two metre hose plugged right up here. Straight up here, actually going straight up. So I've got this for a little shower and to wash things down. Also a high pressure nozzle to uh, clean the car up a bit to do the job. We have a little bit of uh, cement, what do you call it? Uh, PVC cement, non-pressure, not pressure piping, so we don't need anything that great. A couple of 90s just to mount it, and if you do, try and get the 90s that actually pinch over the uh, caging up here, otherwise you're going to need another piece at the bottom. And this is what I mean. So if we take this up here, we want it to pinch across nice because it's not really going to go anywhere it's not going to go back and forth uh, the structure of it is going right through the entire perimeter of chalky another thing too to put in a little pressure valve so i just chose these little uh, brass jets to uh, punch a couple of holes in it and put it up there if you're wondering what the washers are for it's just for this bit right here so there's your on off and there is a pump 12 volt pump that will be mounted up here right in here so we'll have a 12 volt pump now right here we've got it capped off here so we've got easy dumpage if we need to just dump the water we just let that one go this one here will actually have the hosing coming off it so the bit that i had to actually cut this piece right under here just connects straight from across the breather over here and that's where the jets will be going in the breather valve there straight across into the uh 90 and then that's it we're gonna put some black paint on it and uh should be done pretty soon so take this around i can actually reach just up here to undo that perfect put those ones in there just one or two and if i actually need to filter water into it at all we can set up some sort of an arrangement here with the tarpaulin that just catches the rainwater pinned up against trees and funnel it into that one up the top so i might just shorten that distance up there so i can get a little bit more upright so i can do that but otherwise on that angle it really does grab it really easy it's nice it's out the way i kind of like it it's going to be a sucky feature if anybody knows for roses they're bloody top heavy so having 80 liters of water up the top there is uh is going to be a fair bit uh, so what I'll do is I've got a quick dump here Just to quickly dump it all and also this one here I Unlock it and it should be Well, okay, I'll put the pump on and just pump it all out and we'll fill up all the uh, Containers I usually uh, will put them into say uh, Old water containers like look like a goon bag type of thing and so to dump the water quickly into something Put the pump on pump it up Fill up a couple of these if they're too big for the car, I'll save these things from the, the Nobles Puru water. So it's not actually a goon bag, it's actually a water bag. Uh, they're great, they sit nice and flat, they squash up. Uh, I recommend them. Good to travel with. Fit underneath the seat of the car, behind the seats of the car, and uh, they also blow up to make a good pillar, so why not? Ultimately, I want my shower up high, so I can be standing up under here having a bit of a rinse off or blast the car down and just get rid of any of the muck that's in it from the day. And I reckon we'll just bloody get to it, eh? Let's cut this one. Seems I'm out of a bit of sandpaper at the moment. So. I'm just gonna burrow it all out. Give it a little bit of a chance. Alright, 
So we've got shaky cam on again. Let's try and do this one handed. It's not in properly, but you'll get the idea. So now I've got that one bracketed just the right length. So she's going to cut in a bit on that side, which is perfect. And this is where the uh, little beavers will go in. Also, quick another fill spot if I choose to use it as so. G'day and welcome back again. Yesterday rain came and um, yeah, Coomera happened. So, trying to get this done before this uh, parent torrential rain comes over the weekend and uh, fills my uh, racks up the top like a swimming pool again. So this is actually getting a canopy on it in the next couple of days. Just a stretch canopy, just a couple of clears here, clear at the back, roll ups, so you can access everything. And I just want to get this water piping or water system done so that I can actually use it in the next, say, a couple of weeks. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to actually attach this to the end piece that sits up here. Just drill the test hole in an off cut. Just make sure I've got the right size here to fit. and screwing in as well so that is awesome put a bit of a teflon tape on that and uh, on the inside of it i will give it a splash of pipe cement and um we're good and what i'm going to do is set these with the glue put them in there and then drill some holes in the top of that cap over there and mount some of those breathers little breather jets down here let's do that all right this rain is on its way so I'm just gonna throw this down here oh, I hope this is in shot by the way welcome to the top of chalk So this is the tap on the end of it. I'm just gonna put it on, get it tight, and then turn the actual fitting around, and then glue that in place so it's on the right angle. Let's get this bit on first. Might go around the outsides of them a little bit. Maybe. I don't think I've made it. Brilliant, just put some uh, glue down the side there, it's going to glue my lid back on. I'm not happy about that bit, am I? Nah. I might need it again. And here we go. How to get this done now. So that we can take this, lock it all into position. Uh, well, first, before we lock it in position with the clamps, there'll just be one on each side, if you're wondering. So there's only one clamp in the middle here, middle here, middle there, middle there. 
uh, to hold it all on. It just needs to be roughly in place. The design of this is so I can actually put everything, like all my stuff up here and drive around, put the awnings, put the swags, whatever needs to go up here, can go up, not a problem. Um, also leaves me some room just in the front there to add another couple of bits and pieces. And uh, it's all about maximizing space. So this whole thing maybe weighs two and a half, three kilos. Uh, empty and of course a kilo a litre for water in it so these things are very top heavy uh, want to uh, be as safe as possible so quick dump in case I need to get rid of it um, what else have we got here Is that it basically just get it undercoated and paint it uh, basically just get it undercoated and uh, paint it black done leave the uh, tarp up there till she dries I have not put anything around here or here just some Teflon tape I do have the uh, BSP the stronger plastic on there to stop the snap in here because otherwise I would have needed a right angle to come down and have the tap down here which is still another option and it's just screwed in so I'm curious to uh, see how much water it actually holds I really uh, do like the little breather holes there it sort of adds a little bit of class to it doesn't it but I reckon this actually makes the car makes it a lot better so I hope you're enjoying it so far we'll get to finishing this thing huh short to put some more uh, cement on there, some more glue around it, just to uh, make sure that it's going to be okay. Uh, hopefully it'll work. So what I'll do is I'll uh, flip this back over, the other side, give the other side a glue, just wait for this to dry a bit. And then um, I'll hit it with the uh, primer again. Wait some uncat on it, it'll be good. Just stick this one up over here so it stops the wind a bit. Should be right, eh? <laughs> Tacky. So it's time to flip her over, I reckon we'll give her a paint in a couple of minutes. Stuff on the end of it. It is grass, and you can eat it. Just pays to peel it back a little bit, and uh, I'll try and show you. All that stuff just there in the inside of it, really good to eat. Like fresh apple. Actually, tastes like fresh peas, exactly like fresh peas. So, 
do a little mat rush. It's going to give us some flavour on our pipes. Step on something else. Nice little bit of season here. We've got these beautiful little bit of foliage coming off it. Let's, uh, let's go try that too. I reckon that might just be enough. Let's go and do it. All right, well, we've got our uh, palm leaf pattern. I've chosen Australian spiky mat rush. If you don't know why it's called spiky, have a good guess. This is actually where uh, Aboriginal people get their damper from. What is, is all inside here. These little flowers, they all come up as black pods. Once they dry out, you can absolutely grind them down to a powder and make damper. That's where Australian original Aboriginal damper comes from. It has no yeast in it, so if anybody's adding yeast in their damper, the guys have got it all wrong. Start from scratch again. The best way to do that one is to get all your dry seeds, put them aside, grind them up into the powder. Once you've got your powder, then you take some of that powder aside, you leave that in your water, and you make your leaven. And if you don't know anything about bread making, you can possibly go and look it up, because uh, leaven's very important for the yeast. It's what is the yeast, and it makes the bread rise. And that's how you get the rising from it. You don't add yeast to it. So, little tip and pointer for you is leave it for a day and then add that bit, a little clumpy wet bit into your dry with a bit more water and then that will actually rise. So I'm gonna throw these on here and get a bit of a palm leaf pattern happening. And um, I'm gonna use some of the rust loom. I'm gonna use khaki. Forest green, natural brown. Obviously, I don't need black. Let's get to it, I reckon. I might actually start with a bit of khaki. We'll get the lightest colour on the darkest colour and work back and forth. It's not going to be a complex pattern, it's real simple. It might actually just be one colour, but we'll see in a minute. mat rush so much especially when it's nice and fresh like that get some really awesome patterns on there pieces of beans so make sure you don't go the beans in the bloody wild. It's not much different to a mushroom. idea of what the camo comes out like obviously what we've used
Joker bars in the background. And let's bring the uh, water tank up the top, huh? It's up there. If you ask me, the camo really suits it. Super glad I did the uh, camo underneath and on top. And as you can see, hopefully, all these line up absolutely perfect. So that's another absolute bonus. Let's get this in before the sun smashes us. Just gonna nip these up. These have square nuts on the end of them, which align with the square on the other one. So put a washer in between them and get them up. Just one, needs to be nipped up. So this is pretty much how long it should take you to unbolt and bolt up the water system. Shouldn't take too long at all, that's why it's not time lapsed. Right, so there's been a few improvements since um, we last seen the water system. And also, I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, bits and pieces as I'm getting the canvas put on it tomorrow. So next time you see it, it will actually have a canvas on it. It's gonna look awesome. Uh, first off, let's have a look at where the canvas is going. We've got these two Bimini holds here with some uh, C-channel running right up around the edge here, which has uh, been trimmed perfectly by CJ at uh, Classic Trimming. And that's going to come right along here and actually use the wind seal as well, which is a brilliant design. The guy deserves a lot of credit for this. Uh, it's going to pull really nice and tight down along here. A couple of clear windows, one either side and one on the back with the angles happening. So that'll be on the uh, next episode that we see it. It'll be getting dropped off and uh, pitched back up or fitted and done. Done like a dinner. So this one here. We've got drinking hose. We've also got some uh, black regular irrigation hose, which uh, is no, no, not hose tasting, I should say. Um, well, no hose taste to it. But this one here is just a regular shower hose, my attachment, which I will throw on. There has been a couple of designs that I have done differently. So this one here, I've actually put an inline filter in it and a couple of little holes at the bottom i don't know if that's going to help it or not but i'll leave the uh the end drainage open this is going to fit up and inside this unit up here which you might be thinking where and how so let's have a look i'm going to stuff it in here it goes all the way along just like so now it's going to come out We've got the pump mounted up here. It's the only spot I could put it because we've got the canopy coming in and a little bit of the wiring out of the way. So this one here is the other one. 
this one here is going to be coming or well, connecting I should say on the inside in here coming up and out of that one and this one is popping up and out of here and what this is doing is just allowing the flow of the pipe to get sucked in through the in and back out through the out that way I have full control over the newly modified right angle system which is very tight it's very strong it's got no lean on it at all you can actually put a lot of pressure on that so now I can actually control the water flow through this as well which is a bit handy and hopefully when it all plugs together it will plug literally as this gets done up going into it it will clip together onto this one here and you might be asking well how the hell are you going to get it out well I'll leave this bit here loose so with a little bit of uh, jimmying it'll just pop straight out of its hose fitting here and that way I can assess the whole thing maybe change some pipe if needed and uh, get back to it so the fill is going to change as well it's not going to have a fill from here as a reverse fill through here all right it won't have a reverse fill anymore what it's going to have is just the regular fill hole up the top there with the breathers just to fill it up it's going to be perfect and uh this is all down we've got a little bit of a uh, split tube here i've uh cut it up some of the the nylon uh piping and put it around here to stop the shock of the vibration um and a little bit on the tops and bottoms here and i've also made a couple of mounts brackets to put it on you can see a bit better here what it looks like and how it's been piped away because the roof is coming up to here so this all needs to be up and out of the way should be done I'll take this for a closer look all right let's have a look at it Flow in, flow out. That's my uh, pressure valve now. It's a quick dump. That's my fill spot and my breather. It's my fill four point, I should say. Easy to take off. Easy to put on. Should be really good. Nice and strong there. Perfect. The pull off. Undo. I feel like filling it up, giving it a bit of a test. But I'll do that after I get the canopy on it. And what we'll do is the big unveil. With the uh, canopy on there, I'll open up all these good guys. I'll put the tent off the uh, other side over here. And uh, we'll see if we can't make the most of it. Maybe cook some food down there and have a bit of a day out. That'll be on the next episode. So check it out. Peace.